Uh, hello everyone, this is a quick guide on how to quickly make money in Payday 2. So basically, you'll need at least two people, uh, and I recommend doing either Bank Heist Deposit or Bank Heist Gold as they pay the best. Uh, in terms of skill sets, you'll want one person with um, drills maxed out and saw maxed out, as well as ammo bags, they're the most important. It's also good to get uh, things like Jack of All Trades so you can bring along explosives. As for the other person, basically you just want to make yourself super sneaky. Uh, it's also good to get ECM perks. Uh, we'll just talk about that later. Lockpicking can be nice. Okay, for pre-planning, uh, basically you're going to want a few extra cameras as it gives you a better field of view, make guard, taking out the guards quicker. Um, insider help uh, can be useful for getting the keycard. Makes getting to the security room a lot easier. Now, security room will either be positioned in the rear section of the bank or down here by the tills or behind the tills. Uh, vault access doesn't really matter, or uh, as you'll see why later. Excellent. In our case, we have some explosives, so we don't need to uh, get the vault key. But if you don't have explosives, then get the vault key. Alright, so here we are, we're starting. Uh, it always pays to have someone staying in stealth. Or casing mode rather, so you can sort of scout out, see what's going on. Handle this for now. Figure out where the security room is. In this case it's in this position, which I prefer. So I'll now proceed to go get the key card and take out the cameras. Okay, so I just went and got the key card. I will now prepare my mask. We'll use the key card and we'll drop this guard. Uh, nope. Everything is clean here, Control. Nothing weird happening. Nothing at all. So, once you've taken out that room, basically the next step is to take out the remaining three guards. And the good thing about this, um, this map is that there will be four guards no matter what, um, which is good. So it means you have just the right amount of pages to take care of everything without being detected. So the best way to do this, if you didn't buy the spy cams, is to have one person sit in the security room, uh, so keep an eye on the guards so that you can get in the right position to take them out without, without being detected. This part can take a while, so just be patient. So this guard here entered the security room. No, no problem, so I ran over quickly to uh, take him out. Good thing about this printer room is that no one can see in, so it's a great place to take out guards. Any guards that you do take out, I recommend bagging them and uh, taking the bags to a hidden place, just so they won't get seen. Okay, so we've taken out all the guards. Uh, now we'll need to get all the, all the civilians on the ground so that we can take the deposits without getting caught. So basically, this is why I recommend having two people. You'll need one person to come in through this back bit and take out the tills, because there is actually a an emergency button in there which they can push, which will immediately get you caught. And you'll want one person to come through here, because there is another emergency button just up there, which uh, these civilians will push. Right, so now I will drop an ECM and we'll run in and take out these civilians. We'll get them on the ground at least. So basically you're going to want to tie down as many as you can. Uh, if you don't have enough zip ties, uh, just kill them. Down. 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 Get down. Over here. So unfortunately we didn't quite have enough zip ties, so we did have to kill a few. Um, Bane will get quite annoyed about that, but don't worry. Uh, since we're playing on the highest difficulty, the payout will more than cover it. There will be quite a few civilians roaming around outside, so I recommend taking them out. Ooh, like this guy. Uh, eventually civilians outside will stop spawning, just so make sure you take care of all of them because they can get out their cell phone and alert the police, which you do not want. 
Uh, so basically you have a few minutes of not doing a lot, just uh, make sure no one detects you and keep restarting the drill. Alright, since I have my ECMs maxed out, means I have two, which means I can use my remaining ECM to open up this ATM, which is good because it gets you a lot of instant cash. And then the guy with the saw can obviously take out the other one. Uh, if you do get bored of waiting, there are packages scattered around which you can take. Uh, I believe if you collect enough of them, they'll give you some kind of reward. Um, I'm not entirely sure as I don't really pay attention to them. So my friend here has just told me that they do in fact give you weapon mods and stuff if you collect enough of them, so uh, they might be worth getting. Uh, so usually there'll be uh, sort of small bundles of money scattered on the manager's desk and behind the tools. Um, they don't get you a lot, but it's worth picking up. It's not like you have anything better to do while this drill is going. Right, so the drill's finished, um, and the door appears to be closed. I think my friend here can take care of that. And we'll step back. There we go. Uh, now this, my friend here is the, dr uh, the saw rather, so he'll place his ammo bags and begin opening all these. Basically, I'll just stay I here and run any bags that we get from these deposits out to the van. As you can see, there's quite a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, some of them will give you instant cash, like these necklaces and rings and whatever. Then things like this, like money bundles, or money bags. Give you a bag, um, just throw them wherever. Uh, once you've got them all, run them over to the van, which in this case is over there. Although sometimes it will be positioned around that corner or in an alleyway somewhere over there. you also find piles of gold uh, which will give you a bag and you move a lot slower with them which it's not a problem here but if you're doing a loud heist where you need to move around quickly that can be annoying. It's partly why I recommend doing it stealth um, because it, it honestly just seems a bit more streamlined, uh, makes collecting the bags a lot easier. Cool so we got all the bags and loot uh, to be had in here so we'll just start running them all to the van. Okay. Little tip here, uh, if you have one person standing here, one person throwing the bags out to the street, it can streamline the process of moving the bags a bit. Right, all bags are in, let's go. You can see, this gets you quite a lot of money. 7 million offshore and almost 2 million uh, instant cash. And it only took us uh, probably about 20 minutes or so. So if you're grinding out money, uh, and XP actually, this, this is a great way to go about doing it. Righto, so that was just a quick guide on how to quickly make money in Payday 2. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I might make more guides like this in the future. Thanks for watching.